Hi, and today a very short tip how to greatly, I mean really greatly improve the quality of 3D printer at home and prints with specific kinds of filament. The filaments like TPU or nylon, but also all, almost all the other filaments. And the thing, the thing is called the dehumifier. What it does? It makes the filament dry. But first, let's take a look at what's happening when you do not have a dehumifier and you put your filament somewhere in your apartment or in the basement or garage for month, two, three, or something like that. It's really, really very interesting. 3D printed GoPro session mount. Nothing special on the first glance, everything looks great. It's made from TPU elastic filament, so it's almost indestructible. And if you look at it from the distance, it looks more or less more accurate. But look what happens when I will close the thing to the camera. You see, the surface over here is nowhere even near to be smooth, like for example, on any kind of thing printed with, let's say, the, uh, I don't know, PLA or ABS or anything like that. Funny fact, in the beginning, it was not looking like that. In the beginning, when I just got the filament, the prints were, prints were much, much, much better. Only after some time, it started to look like this. This print is not even that bad. I had a print that looked really horrible, horrible. What's the reason for this? It's the water. If the water uh, the moisture from the air gets into the filament because the filament can absorb some of the moisture from the from the from the air yeah come on of course then when it will be heated up in the nozzle not only the filament will be heated but only a water and a small bubble of uh, steam will happen that will make the filament flow not even. It will go out as a small bubble. You might not even not see the bubble in the nozzle itself, but it will be there. The structure of the filament squeezed out of the printer will not be um, constant. It will not be smooth and this will result in a, in a structure like this. Water inside of the filament is bad because after heated up to 100 degrees Celsius it turns into steam and greatly increases its volume. The idea of the dehumifier is of course not mine, there are dozens of instructions on the internet how to build one and it's relatively very simple and relatively cheap. The only thing you have to like take into consideration is the size because you will need a box. You will need a big box that will fit at least some of your spools of the filaments, no, all. Uh, so something with the height of, let's say, 30 centimeters, uh, this is 30 centimeters is one foot, something around one foot and 60 by 90. Like the big box, the big box with the plastic lid that you can put extra seals inside of it because the container has to be more or less air, okay, it doesn't have to really be airtight, but the circulation of air from inside to the outside and from the outside to the inside has to be very, 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 very limited. Inside of this, put the cheapest hygrometer, the device that measures the, um, how it's called, uh, measures the, oh, I think I will cut this, measures the number of water in the air, Hygrosity? Hygrosity? Okay, I will edit this, this part later. And the most important thing, the silica gel. The silica gel, the best silica gel is the silica gel, 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 with the color marker that when the gel is dry, it's pink, not the pink, it's orange and when it gets wet it turns to green and some kind of, of container. I've printed my two small containers for the silica gel I, I got but really you can just put it in on the bottom of your container on some uh, I don't know a ball or cup. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. It can be anything. There are of course designs of the 3D printer containers for the silica, silica gels uh, in the internet. You can find them. I can point you to the one I'm using and I'm I actually design it's not perfect but it works and and well then just put the filament into the container uh, put the silica gel put the hygrometer 
close it and leave it. You don't have to do anything else. When you want to use your filament, just take it from the uh, container, and put it on your printer and you are more or less done. And the results really, results are amazing because previously I showed you how the same kind of filament from the same manufacturer and actually from the same month of production behaved on my 3D printer with the, with the the, the filament just lying somewhere uh, close to the printer and the second one after a few weeks inside of the thing. Remember this one? This print was printed with the filament that was not kept inside of the dry box, the, the humifier. This one on the other hand, it's the same design, the same filament, only the color is different and I got those two filaments in exactly the same moment and in the beginning I was keeping them both more or less in the same place only this one before I printed this thing spent two weeks inside of the, the humifier and how does it look let me focus look look what's the difference it's maybe still not perfect but surface if we compare to this one is much 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 smoother and there are no bulges and lacks of elements over here much better really i was i was really like very very positively surprised what a dry filament on the 3d printer can really do see the difference yeah it's the difference it's really i was really shocked when i first uh, put the spool of this filament and put it on my printer and whoa the surface is finally smooth. Of course, um, if you have only like the say 3D printer with one spool and you uh, maybe it's okay. You can also use some kind of plastic bag with the silica gel inside. But really, really, if you have two, three, four, and you are replacing the filament from time to time, really do it that way. Of course, you have to have a habit to take the filament from the printer and put it into a box. But come on, it's only a habit. You can do it, right? I, I'm doing and I'm super lazy. So great, I, for me it was really a great idea. Great idea to build a box like that because I'm really I'm as amazed how better the print quality is with really a dry filament. Like I said, the TPU is very not very. The TPU is really sensible to the uh, to the moisture it, it absorbs from the air. And the nylon for the nylon prints you have to keep your nylon inside of the dry container because if not it will absorb huge amount of water and when you will be printing the bulging and the, the side effects i showed you will be even 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 worse okay that's all for today until the next one bye